10? I'm assuming this ends at 6. If it doesn't, I am totally done for. Ah, no! <laughs> no, we were so close! Hey guys, and welcome to GT Not Live, where we are trapped in the basement, both literally and figuratively, trying to stop the mangle. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to what I can only assume is our absolute final part of our Juniors playthrough. Uh, this is a FNAF fan game that's really good. I think this is part four, but technically it's only been three parts because the first part was us fumbling around wildly in the dark trying to figure out how to play the actual game. Uh, but now that we've figured it out, we've made really good progress, right? We made it through nights one, two, and three in that, that second upload, flew through those. Four and five, just beasted. Beasted. You would say beasted, right, Ash? That is the exact diction choice that I would make. The, the, the very diction to choice. Mm -hmm. The most diction. Uh, and by the end of that episode, because it was starting to get long... Uh, we were playing FNAF 2, and we were trying to get our way through the base. So basically, it's like, whoa, why don't you go down into the basement and stop the evil ghost that's after me? Small boy that's investigating an abandoned pizza restaurant for some reason. I'm like, okay, sure. So I go down into the basement, and lo and behold, the ghost's game is FNAF 2. Uh, at which point then I'm like, you know what? This has been long. I need to remember some of the mechanics. I need to figure this out. And so here we are today, ladies and gentlemen. We are ready to play FNAF 2 with the reskinning that is Juniors. It looks incredible. And uh, from a lore side means that, you know, Juniors, I guess, is built on top of or under FNAF 2. Unclear whether this is a prequel or a sequel to it. I don't know. Maybe when we beat this whole thing, we'll figure it all out. Maybe this is the origin story of the Mangle. To well, actually, no. Come to think of it, it is the origin story of the Mangle, isn't it? Because we see parts being brought down to it in all the VHS tapes. You know, all the claymation. They're like, I'm offering this part up to the mangle. So either the mangle is adding parts to itself, or we are building it in the first place. And the ghost, whatever ghost exists in the basement of Juniors, is like, assemble me with spare parts of your animatronics. I don't know. Anyway, that's me just spitballing. But enough spitballing. Let's actually hop into the gameplay without any further ado. So roll it. Oh, hey. Flash, 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 flash. Do you go away? Go away, go away. Nope. You weren't there! You weren't there a second ago! No, you... Mm. No! 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 Shoot. Shoot. Man, it's only 1.30? It's only one third. Oh no. I, I, again, it feels like. It feels like I'm so dependent on everyone else's cycles in order to get to the puppet. That's the concern I'm having, which is why it feels like I'm doing something wrong. Like, I feel like it's only one thirty, and I feel like I'm so heavily dependent on two. An the animatronics are coming so quickly. And lasting so much that maybe I just need to slow down my... Because again, in, in FNAF 2, it's like do 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 And you just do it over and over over again. But maybe here... Maybe I'm just going too fast. Gone. Nope. Still there. Also, the flashlight really sounds like a phone just got a text message. And it's so disorienting to have it in your... Oh, I believe that. Oh wait, balloon boy? Get out of there. Why'd I hear balloon boy? Don't love it. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. I'm hearing balloon boy in a way that I've never heard balloon boy before, so I'm just saying. Mask. Oh, Foxy. Okay, get out of there. OK. 
Okay. Someone's in the middle. Here he is. See? Like, I'm taken away from it. See, and again, I'm... See, now I'm dead. Yeah. See, but I, they keep pulling me away, and it's... Moments like this, just lose. Oh. Nope, he's there. See him. Get out of there. Is he gone? Nope, still there. There he is. One thirty. We can consistently get it to 130, which is nice. I like that it's also an airport hangar, it feels like. Every time they're like, Rrr. Yes, that does seem to be the case. Huh. Interesting. Or that Juniors was built atop. Right? It's interesting. Come on. Nope. This is intense. Wait, what is this? Beware the mangle. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. You know you can't be here. Whoa, no! Oh, no! No! Oh, this is... <laughs> oh, this is nuts! Yes! Oh, buddy. Oh, he's fusing them all together! Oh, no! I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. This is going to be a whole new gameplay mechanic, isn't it? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, ooh, ooh, bonus parts. <laughs> bonus parts from the side. Oh, nice. Oh, man, we're getting all sorts of guys mixed in here. Oh, no. All the parts. I like that the time's ticking down. If this Mangle Fusion could just take another three hours, that'd be great. Thanks. Thanks a lot. I don't mind it. Don't hate it. 100%. Okay. Takes until 3.30. So 3.30 is when the, like, true final battle begins, it seems like. Okay. Okay, 336. Engage! Okay. Oh, bud. Okay. Okay, the mangle is here. Watch out for her owl tail. She'll use it to look into your office from the vents. Put the mask on. Flash her in the hallway if she's there. Find the ghost in cameras to hold the light on her, or she'll break the cameras and eventually your light. What? Okay, look for the ghost in the cameras. Oh! Owl! Shine a light on it. I'm trying to shine a light on it. Look. Yes! Okay, good. Watch out for her owl tail. She'll use it to look into your office from the vents. Put... Oh, maybe I have to actually, like, look. Find the ghost in cameras and hold the light on her, or she'll break the cameras and eventually your light. Okay. So, owl tail. Look for ghost. There's a ghost. Hold on. Okay. I got... I got it. Okay, so I spooked out that ghost. I'm not seeing any owl tail. I'm not seeing anything, so I let's, let's check where we're at. Oh, okay, wait, what's, what's this? Why are we flashing so much? Oh, okay, I'll, oh, I got put on the mask. Uh, what are these things? What, what is this? What, what is this? Why are there chica clocks everywhere? Oh, there's ghost hand. Oh, owl. This is so funny. Oh my gosh, there's so many chica masks. 
she could collapse. Oh, wait. Wait, what, what? Owl? Okay, owl's gone. <laughs> what the, what the heck is this? This is unreal, also the hands, like, goes without saying, the hands in the background are awesome. Also, there's, oh, owl, right? That's an owl, that's an owl looking at yep, me? Yep, okay. you got that. Okay, ghost hand. Ghost hand, get out of here, ghost hand. Get out of here, ghost hand, no one wants you. Oh, ow! Shoot. Look out the eyeballs. Okay. I'm assuming all that's. Oh, ow! Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay. Like, there's nothing in these cameras. Just throw, throwing it out there. <laughs> Where? Where? Where'd you find me, Mangle? Jack, I doubt. Put the mask on a thousand. Yeah, I, I know I did. Shoot. At least we start here. I feel good about starting midway, because if you had to do the beginning again, that would, that would that would blow. That would be so brutal to do over and over again. Watch out for the owls. Look for the ghost tails. We got all this. There's going to be sound cues they need to look for. This is audio only. What if I just sit in my mask the whole time? But I'm like, you know what? No. I'm all good. So we got a scareway mangle. Hello. I heard something. Oh, hey! Is that owl looking? Where's, where's my owl friend? Is that the owl over there? Did I avoid the owl? Sure I did. We'll say, we'll say that was a yes. We'll say that was, I have successfully avoided the owl. It takes. Oh, there he is. Shoot, he's definitely saw me multiple times there. Oh, okay. He comes up a lot. I spy with my little eye. Ooh. Okay. But well, we've also switched to eyeballs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> didn't, didn't expect that one. What? <laughs> Shit. I just scared you away with my little light switch. Little light lighty device. Go. The ghost is like, wait a minute. That's just a flashlight. I don't care about that. Whoo. So I think the owl is popping up more frequently than I'm giving it credit for. And also... The little ghosty hand I need to care less about. That's my prediction here. Okay. It's also a bummer that after you've gone through that cutscene, you lose about like 45 minutes of in-game progress. Okay, there's there's the owl. Okay, now we're getting all these weirdo weirdo flashes. Go okay. Owl. So these changes to like, oh, now there's a bunch of Chica clocks around. Those just happen at various times regardless. Right? Yes. Okay, there's Owl. And I gotta get the ghost. So at this point I gotta find the ghosty with the mosty. Oh, shoot, there, there's Owl though. I heard him. So you can definitely hear him. And now we're switched to eyeballs. There's ghost hand. Okay, there's ghost hand. I heard something big. Okay, there's oop, that's owl. Owl's mad at me. Okay, owl's mad. Owl's definitely mad at me. Definitely scared away ghost hand. Okay, there's owl. Okay. So, oh shoot. so does the red indicate, because there's a flashing mark on on the map that says like, hey, is that, and that's where I found a ghost hand the first time. But does that always miss? Okay, get back. There's ghost. There, hold up. 
Okay, kill the ghost. Okay, kill the ghost. I mean, it's 441. I bet there's like one more ghost hand that I have to fight. That would be my prediction. Get down. Five o'clock. Oh, ghost hand. There he is, okay. Shoot, I gotta kill that ghost hand. Get the ghost. Did that do it? Is that, was that, hey, you defeated me. I am the ghost hand and you've defeated me. <laughs> I don't know. 520. Not a whole lot of flashlight left, gotta admit. Ghost hand has moved. Oh, shoot, shoot. Ow! I am definitely out of flashlight at this point. Shoot, 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 shoot. Hold on, folks, we got 15 minutes left. 14, 13, 12, 10. I'm assuming this ends at six. If it doesn't, I am totally done for. Ah, oh, no, shit. <laughs> oh, we were so close. Oh, we were out of flashlight. We had it. Yeah, put the mask on if the owl, the owl was like in my office all the time, okay? Someone get that little hooter out of here. No one wants you, little hootie. Oh, <laughs> we were so close. Oh. <laughs> Whoo, I felt that. Did you feel that, Ash? You didn't feel it, it's okay. I, eh. We were like five in-game minutes away. I mean, I knew it wasn't going to be that nice to you. There was I know. No way. There was no way. There was no, there way. Was no way. All right, let's try this again. We got close. I just got to be more careful with the flashlight. Okay. Okay. I promise, find this stupid ghost hand, man. There he is. Got him. Look at that. We already got the first ghost hand. And we haven't even seen the owl yet. There he is. Is, it, is that him? No. Guess not. There he is. Hide the tips. Okay. Shoot. Hide, hide. It takes forever to load these cameras. Hide. Shoot, I'm so slow. Go stand there. I don't know what that sound means. I hear that big, like, lurching sound. Owl. Okay. Also, it seems like the map kind of lies to us about like where the ghosts actually are. Shoot, shoot. Why? Because I, I, I was in there too long? I guess I didn't. I got to flash the, the room in front of me too. Shoot! Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, owl. <laughs> I, get, I get the point. Hide from the owl. I get it. Thank you. Okay. Find the ghost. Maybe I'm focused too much on the ghost. Maybe that's my big problem here. The game's like, forget about the ghost, Matt. Who cares about the ghost? Let it take down your light, it's okay. Although we were able to find the ghost early last time. Okay, hi. So the game really kicks off at three o'clock. Okay, there he is. No ghost, no ghost. There's ghost. Good, got ghost number one.
which should buy us a little bit of time, right? Because also, knocking out the ghost takes up a lot of battery life. I've noticed that too. Okay, they're changing it to... Change the spooky eye now. Okay, gone. Okay, found ghost. Got him, okay, cool. Great. Scared him away. I think it's after the second ghost is when you, is when he, when Mangle appears. Come on. Where are you, ghost to ghost? There he is. Okay, so that should be scaring the ghost. Okay, we should. I feel like I should be good here for a second, right? Because it's gonna take a minute for the ghost to reset. I get it. I get it. So the so the ghost has broken my camera or my flashlight and I cannot recover it. I cannot recover it. Oh, come on. Well, we're dead. Sorry. Like definitively dead at this point. Literally nothing I could do. I'm so sorry. Three, two. Damn it. I'm s forgive me, ghost! As if I'm not looking for you aggressively. F not constantly check the camera for the ghost. Yeah, 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 I get it. I'm sorry that the, the camera technology in whatever era this is just takes a decade and a half to load. It's me launching off into space. We've got this. We're gonna win. A winner is us. Like, look, look at how quickly I can check the cameras. We're left to my own devices. And I'm not, oh, there he is. So I think that's the sound of him, like, it, her, because it's a girl ghost, right? It's the sound of her hitting our camera, I think. Okay, we're switching rounds. I like that the like Chica clock only lasts for like a fraction of a set. It's, it's like half an hour of in-game time. It's odd how short it is. Pleasure! <laughs> Shoot! All right, all right. It's serious time. It's serious time now, Ash. It's serious time. Okay. 
Where's the old ghost has been summoned? There's Mangle, here. Hey, Mangle. Heard you. Okay. Switch. Hide. Come on. So scared it away, right? Does a proper ghost scare? Is it officially gone now? I'm assuming yes. Ghost. Oh, you can actually see more of its body than I thought. Are the hands stroking the screen? I. Th I <laughs> That's really funny. It, it, it looks like they're... It does kind of look like they're stroking, isn't it? I think... What? Oh, come on! Well, we're dead. We're dead. Just kill me. Damn it. I... We were doing so well there. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> yeah, I think they're feeling the, the screen. Because, I don't know, haven't you ever wanted to, like, feel a TV screen? Like, the TV screen, modern screens, like, with LED and LCD screens, like, you know, they discourage you from touching them nowadays. But, like, back in the old days when they were just glass, like, you could touch a screen and it was pretty satisfying. Oh, I loved when it was all staticky. Right, it would be staticky, it was nice and smooth glass, you had a lot of, you had a lot of good stuff going on there, you know? Shoot. Sorry. Not great. Bad start. Bad start. Ghost. Just gonna wear this mask. <laughs> yeah, right! I was gonna say, you have a chair right there! You're just really into it. Yeah, off screen, I have been kneeling just in front of a computer. It helps your gameplay. It helps my gameplay even more bizarrely. I was... Do you want me to go back down there? No, no, no. No. Certainly not. Oh, okay. Got him. Okay. Okay. Spooky. We're in spooky eyeball land. Okay. Well, there's a lot of rage, Ash! I, I see you, and I hear you. I do. Um, I just wasn't expecting this. I, did, I wasn't expecting this! We have, I feel like we should have beaten this like three times over at this point. Right? It'd be like that. It'd be like that! I feel like... I, I don't... I feel like we're so close to doing it. And yet, for some reason... Something just keeps going wrong. It do be like that. But here's the thing. Okay, so if you're trapped in a TV... Shoot. If you're trapped in a TV, yeah, just... Okay, there's my angle. Okay, hide. Ghost. Okay, there he is. Maybe... Right air vent, nope. 
Hey, Owl, leave me alone. I'm looking for a ghost. Looking for a ghost who's gonna break my cameras. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I got stuff to do, Owl. Ain't nobody got time for you, Owl. Whoa, spooky. Oh, okay. Okay, I, I double scared him, I guess. Because <laughs> one wasn't enough. Hide. Okay, ghost. I know you're out there somewhere. Maybe it is the, the warning label? Maybe the warning label's on there because it's like, that's where the ghost is. Oh no, but see, it's lying to you. Ah, oh, damn it. Kill it. Did I kill it? I don't think I killed it. I, don't think, I think it got away. The one, the ghost that got away. It's my favorite Katy Perry song. Is it? The ghost that got away? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Feels very relevant to my life right now. It only plays in October. While I'm playing a very specific FNAF fan game. Oh, hello. Great. Well, glad I checked the vent there. Oh my gosh, come on! Get him. Okay, I scared a ghost one more time. So that's good. Yay. Come on. from the ring. Samara. Oh, that's spooky. Oh, <laughs> oh that little smile. Oh, that little creepy smile. That little creepy smile. Oh, no. No, thank you. I, I choose not to. No, thanks. Lock. Do not call list. Nope. Hard. X. <gasps> yes! Oh, that was awesome. That was really intense. Okay. These hands, these hands have seen some things. When will these hands near be clean? <laughs> There's blood on my hands. To, to the confusion I have about who the protagonist is, these are the kid's hands. I know, these, I, are, these are manly hands. I was gonna say, these are man hands. These aren't like, oh, I'm, I'm a little kid who's investigating a pizzeria. These are like, I am hardened after years of investigating a pizzeria restaurant. I have so much dread. My wife at home has left me because I've been so dedicated for this case. She left you, but she's at home? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was really stupid. It's a big house. <laughs> she's in a very specific corner of that house. <laughs> she refuses to come out until I find that spooky ghost. She's like, you got a bear up inside of your head, kid. You got to get it out of there. These hands. They've seen some things <laughs> in my 10 years of age. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, I say. Whoa. I'm back. She must have gotten in my head. Oh. Oh, that's a leap of logic. She must have gotten in my head. Oh, wait. Is, are we not done? Paul Bear, where are you? Please, don't hurt me. Is it me? Am I finally taking my revenge on Paul Bear because he deserves it? See, those look like kid hands. Oh, this... I knew you were here all along. It's my evil, witchy ghost voice. While you were sitting in here behind that costume, I was waiting, waiting so patiently for another one of your little puppets to look where they weren't supposed to. Once I'm done with you, I'm going to take your little puppet and split his skull. 
Not this time. He's different. Oh, really? Let me ask you this. What makes you think he will be able to avenge your spirit now? Do you see his hands? This! <laughs> this! <laughs> hands! Oh, no, the knife? Lead pipe? <laughs> Was the small investigating child with the lead pipe through her neck! Also, still, manly hand. I, I can almost see hair growing on those knuckles. It's done. We just... Just straight up killed her? <laughs> what? I have so many questions! After five years, Junior's was closed? Reopened? What did it say? It would reopen in five years. Okay, thank you. It would go over heavy rebranding, as some still have a somewhat negative impression of the company. Hmm. <laughs> go figure. I wonder why that would be. <laughs> Fazbear Entertainment is now more committed than ever to family fun and above all, safety. They've spent a small fortune on these new animatronics. That's that's a FNAF line from FNAF 2. They've spent a small fortune on these new animatronics. Anyways, Jeremy, when do you think you can start? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I was bowled over by lore. <laughs> That was me getting bowled over by lore. Okay, let's let's see what else this game has in store. So let, let's talk about this while I'm assuming the credits. Oh, yeah, here we go. And a small boy and his potentially evil, question mark, animatronic stuffed bear look out over a grateful universe and the giant brain in the distance. Ah, <laughs> uh, just, the, just the classic end of game sequence here. Beautiful. Just like you'd expect. Wait. So, schnoz. So, <laughs> these, these credits are, are pretty legit, and I also love the, like, Stranger Things music we have going here. Like, this is, this is the, the alternate intro sequence for Stranger Things. Oh, this is a, this is a Midnight Motorist remix. Dun, dun, dun. This is a, this is a complete uh, Midnight Motorist, in case you don't remember it. It's one of my favorite songs to come out of this franchise. Uh, by the nature of the fact that it's like one of the only songs to come out of a franchise <laughs> like FNAF where everything else is ambient horror so you know ooh, I love listening to those ambient horror sounds from FNAF 1 and 2 finally thank you Scott for changing all of our lives it's true um wow uh <laughs> that's really funny juniors oh here it is here it is juniors Rebranded as Fazbear's. So obviously, Midnight Motorist is a callback. The reason they did the musical callback to it is because that's where Junior's first appears. Is in the Midnight Motor, and only time that it appears, honestly, uh, in the game is during the the FNAF Six cutscene or the mini game. Uh, you know, Midnight Motorist. You drive off the road. You go down through, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Extras, extra shifts. Okay, I'm just I'm just curious what extras exist here. And then we're going to talk about lore. We're going to talk about lore here in a second, because I've, I've got a question about lore. Look at these models, man. They're so good. They're so scary. This is what they should look like for the movie. Why do he have bumps on his ears, dude? Right? It's, he, he, it is such an unsettling design. He's, it looks like he's almost Christmassy because he's got the little... I think that's supposed to be fur, extra fur. So maybe he's got a little extra fur there. F Freddy Fazbear, this iteration of Freddy is much taller and lankier than most. He's rocking his iconic top hat and bow tie, but both are outfitted with a plaid material. This is great. Like, honestly, when I think of a Freddy movie, especially if it's done in real life, like, I can see them looking like this. This is horrific. So good. Who else we got? Oh, D. Here we go. Oh, uh, Bonnie. Similar to Freddy, this iteration of Bonnie is much lankier than most other designs. He's been given a pair of stylish glasses, and his color has shifted from dark indigo to a tealish shade of blue. Yep. <sighs> right? And these feel like that slouchy, too much fabric feel of both, like, an like mascot suits and animatronic bodies. It's really cool. The teeth, the shine on the teeth, the details like that make such a big difference. And like, like you said, the crowding of the teeth. Ugh. 
Chica the Chicken. This iteration of Chica is themed not around food, but sleeping. She dons a nightgown, a sleeping cap, and her cupcake has a binky. How adorable? Question mark. The cup. I find the cupcake actually more disturbing than Chica. Cause I love that. Really? The cupcake is so scary to me. It's like, he's, he's seen some things. He's right. He's been to one too many parties. I was going to say, he's been up for a long time, and he's, he's been up for a long time, and he is tired of what's going on in the other room. He's like, shut up already. I'm trying to get some sleep. That glazed over eye. He's like, no, I'm done. I just like the look of exhaustion and just being fed up with everything around you while like sucking off. On a pacifier. Baby. Right. It's, it's actually a weird dichotomy because I, that look of like the like saggy, uh, like reminds me of parents, like with a newborn baby who are just tired because they're being woken up every like 30 minutes all the time. But then, the like you said, the pacifier's like, that's weird. I love it. Ooh, Foxy. Foxy the pirate. This pirate-themed iteration of Foxy is withered to maintain that iconic look that everyone loves. We wanted to push that theme a little further with the inclusion of a lot of piercings. That's actually really smart. I like that. That's super cool. So good. The details are great. I love these models. You could just, like, look at them and, like, I could see them as sculptures. It would be amazing. Balloon Baby. This iteration of Balloon Boy isn't a boy at all. He's actually a baby. Ugh. Hence the name. His face was made more doll-like, yep, to match the eerie vibe of the rest of the character cast. Again, I, I think he looks like Michael Myers. Uh, as always, he's holding his balloons and wearing his iconic propeller hats. Yep. Terrifying. Those old baby dolls, so scary. I, like, here's the thing. They definitely have souls trapped inside of them. Period. Like, you don't even have to convince me. That's not even a theory. That's a fact. So I see that, and it's not surprising. Uh, Marionette. With her lengthy, spindly body, this iteration of the marionette puppet is more ragdoll-like. She's also been given a nose and a set of ears that add to the creepy doll look that made her so iconic in um, FNAF 2. The ears actually change the face a lot. I don't know if I like them. Obviously, it has to be changed for, for copyright reasons. But I like that it's different, at the very least. Like It's, it's like unnaturally small and a little bit squished. Which does lend itself to a little bit of, of, you know, uncomfort, like discomfort with, like, the look. Withered Freddy, during his final act of juniors, Freddy was torn to shreds, leaving him with only one eye and a massive scar down his right cheek. Super cool. Oh, Withered Bonnie, during the final act in juniors, Bonnie's face was torn off by the mangle and used as a mask by the player. That's an interesting interpretation. That's cool. I've never really considered that. That's a really interesting thing. I didn't even notice that. Withered Bonnie shares almost identical features to this design from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Yeah, with the missing arm and stuff like that. Withered Chica, did we even see Withered Chica? I guess so. During the final act, Chica's jaw is torn apart and ripped open, much like a design in FNAF 2. Probably got the most damage out of the entire animatronic cast. Think so? I feel like getting your face ripped off is pretty severe. Although, I guess Chica's missing her, her both her hands. Withered Foxy. Foxy takes quite a beating. His left ear is completely torn off. Uh, however, he was pretty withered to begin with. I was going to say, yeah, he looks similar. Ah, oh, withered balloon baby. Much like the marionette, balloon baby's porcelain head is completely shattered during Junior's final act. The cracks on his face reveal a creepy endoskeleton underneath. That's cool. Again, like, that's one of those uh, debates that people have had for a long time. Like, what is balloon baby underneath? Uh, the Fazbear Frights books would tell you that maybe he's made of wood. Um, in Sister Location, you have a bunch of hanging, like, marionettes that look like Balloon Baby, uh, or I guess Balloon Boy. Those would be pre presumably made of wood, but you also have the Bitty Babs, which are animatronic, like, baby skeletons. So, you know, Balloon Baby could, Balloon Boy could be any of those things. Uh, Withered Marionette, super scary. Marionette's face is completely shattered, revealing the horrific visage, visage. <laughs> There's the owl! He's so cute! He's like, hello! He's I'm your buddy. He's really adorable. He's so cute! That's like, basically, this is the Junior's developers being like, please give us a plushie. We want a plushie, and this is what it is. I want a Paul Bear plushie. That's what I want. F, F, F Paul Bear. No. Wow, dude. I don't like him. I don't, I don't like what he stands for. Look, okay, but let's talk about lore. Junior's final act, Mangle is absolutely giant. Over time, the ghost haunting Junior's has built her final form, using different pieces of the animatronic endoskeletons to create this monstrosity. During the final act, all the withered animatronics hop on a conveyor, sacrificing themselves to finish the Mangle. So cool. Oh! Oh! Hey! I thought that was going to be it. The ghost is the main antagonist of Junior's. So creepy. As well as one responsible for all the havoc. She appears to have a very strong connection to Paul Bear, seeking to erase him during the game's final act. Thankfully, you make it out of live and manage to free Paul Bear, trapping the ghost inside. The Barons. Trapping the ghost inside the Barons for the rest of her days. And then Paul Bear. Ugh. We'll talk about Paul Bear here in a second. 
player's lovable and jolly friend that provides company in the com campaign of juniors. He and the ghost seem to have an otherworldly connection that caused a divide in reality, perhaps due to their similar deaths. Hmm. Real question is, what's under the costume? I started off this episode wondering whether this was a prequel or a sequel, because we see FNAF 2's location. That's the basement, right? That's what we're playing through. But for it to end with being like, when do you want to start your shift, Jeremy? That basically seems to suggest that this is actually a prequel to FNAF 2, right? Where, and again, I guess that makes sense. I, again, I said this at the very beginning. We watch Mangle get built in this game, right? We see all the other animatronics sacrifice themselves to be subsumed into what would become Mangle. We see them offering body parts. Uh, you know, so we see the rise. This is basically Junior's Rise of Mangle. And then with Junior's rebranding, it becomes Five Nights at Freddy's or uh, Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, the FNAF 2 location. So they kind of like push off the top and they're like, here's an entire thing underneath. I will say from a lore standpoint, it's a little bit weird uh, to have a, a big pizzeria in your basement that doesn't get used until a game after that or until like the restaurant on top has failed. So it seemed to indicate like the restaurant in the basement came both before and after Junior's. Um, it does seem, I'm, I'm a little bit flattered because I think what it's doing is following our, the timeline that we proposed at one point in the past, where we were, where uh, uh, us on the channel, we basically said, you know, what is Juniors? We really have no idea. The only re the only piece that we can really fit it in with is FNAF 2 as like a junior location or a smaller subset location that eventually got rebranded into the FNAF 2 restaurant. Um, I believe it's been a long time since I've thought about the that that specific timeline theory, but I do know we made the connection between FNAF 2 and juniors and that William Afton had been kicked out which is why the man at front's like you know you can't be here anymore get away and he's like oh I'm mad so yeah, I'm gonna go take it out on my kid but my kid's busted out through a window maybe potentially who knows again like I said at the very very top of this playthrough if there was one thing I could ask about it's midnight mode to Scott Cawthon and be like what did you mean by this because I have done my best to figure it out but still is is a uh, midnight motorist minigame and what juniors meant what the pile of dirt meant things like that um so it's a prequel it, it, i feel pretty solid in it being a quick prequel you know the fact that we have this small boy with man hands going on to serve as a security guard remains to be seen that's that's its own little bag of worms but a uh, can of worms but let's talk about paul bear so we are on very different sides of the paul bear debate right now I mean, I don't trust him, but I think he's cute. <laughs> I don't trust him, but I'll hug him. Yeah. I will cautiously hug him. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the thing. I don't... Uh, and see, I he's not cute enough to... to the, like, the owl was viciously trying to kill me and attached to my killer's body, but he was cute, so I'd give him a hug. Whereas Paul Bear both, I think, is trying to kill us or, you know, is trying to use us for his dirty work or whatever, and also is not cute enough to warrant a hug. That he looks kind of mopey. <laughs> he does look mopey. He does. He looks like Droopy Dog. Like that old car. Yeah. Um, I love that. So, who was Paul Bear? Was it Afton? He spoke in a yellow text. So it could be, you know, you could be like, oh, it was the, the bite victim, you know, who went on to possess, like, Golden Freddy, and that's why he's a yellow bear and this and that, maybe. I assume he's the yellow bear, but he speaks in yellow. So it seems to indicate that he's Golden Freddy in some way. I. It does say at the end, right, that the ghost and Paul Bear had similar deaths. Which would see. So I guess it wouldn't be Afton, right? Because if Afton was in there, Afton and the little ghost girl wouldn't be the same thing. So it seems to indicate that maybe in this alternate universe or whatever, maybe. Maybe both of them were just victims of Afton then? But then why would why would the ghost be mad at Paul Bear at the end of this thing? Like, why would they be against each other? I'm not 100% sure. Unless you're thinking like, oh, Paul Bear is the spirit of the kid who died in FNAF 4, Crying Child. And so it's like, you're Afton's kid, so I'm mad at you. I'd have to revisit that cutscene again. The fact that she calls out Paul Bear, though, I don't, 
I don't think the ghost in this game, I don't think the ghost is the villain. Just call me crazy. I think I think Paul I think this is one of those like your helper was actually the true villain all along. I also wonder if there are alternate endings here if you do I mean here. Is there more that you can do here? Extras. Oh wait, this is extras menu that I was just on. What if there's extra shifts? I'm curious. I wonder if you can like earn extra Whoa, there's a lot. Okay. Jeez. Oh, this is so this is like literally custom night, huh? Oh jeez. Oh it says, huh, good one, Matt. You can read custom night. Woo, hello. Oh, so there's either the investigation portion, extra challenges, extra presets, no errors. Oh, wow. There's a lot of these relics of the past. Okay, and they're all pre-made. Pre Closing act, paranormal peril, spectral suspicion. Okay. Extra presets, extra challenges. Oh, there's going to be... Oh, there is DLC? Seniors. <laughs> Juniors DLC, seniors. This is the remastered version? Hey, wait. This is the remastered version? GT Live, August 14th, 2020. Yeah, did I say this? Is this something that I said? This says GT Live, August 14th, 2020. Oh, no way. What? What? Remastered Wilbur is a character from the failed game Weekend at Wilbur's Remastered. Our Wilbur is back for revenge and is out to bug and break juniors as much as he can to prevent his game from receiving any more slander. Don't let Wilbur install his virus or he'll bug out your conveyor and break it. They spent a small fortune on these new animatronics. Buford Box. Buford Box is a non-canon character from the Buford Box VHS series that lasted from one episode. Buford will hide randomly in the office. it will gradually drain stability. Click on Buford to send him away. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Did Look, you say that? We're quoted. Did you say that? About, like about weekday at Wilbur's? I, Weekdays at Wilbur's? I. This was clearly before my time. I mean, this is... What is August 2020? I mean, 2020 had a lot of things that were occupying everyone's mind, so I couldn't tell you for a fact. I wouldn't be surprised. I Guess what? When you've been uploading, like, literally a thousand videos onto a channel, and most of them are Five Nights at Freddy's fan games, <laughs> like, I wouldn't be surprised. I love that. That's so funny. Go you. Look at us. We made it. We made it. That's the best part. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Slap that one onto your box, and they did. Five star. This is the remastered version. <laughs> well, now I want to go back and revisit weekday at Wilbur's now because I don't. I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a long. It's been a long life. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so this is what is this another investigation kind of thing? Reopened and not can. <laughs> oh, it's just seniors. I love it. Oh, I'm not, I'm not going to play this whole thing. I, just so you know, like maybe I'll do it off camera. But like this episode's gone on a long time. Seniors. Oh, that is so funny. Ghost has entered an animatronic. Oh, wow. They're already, they're already off to the races. So there's two new guys. One gets into your, into your place. I'm going to tell you, it's probably already the marionette. Oh wait, it's not Marionette because music's going and connection is still there. So it's either, yep, it's Freddy. Look at this, we still got it. Oh, <laughs> ads. <laughs> Remastered, guaranteed. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh no. Oh no. Hey bud, for tonight, let's look for, Paul Bear always just saying, just look for the flickering lights. Let me look, I've narrowed it down to Freddy or, oh. Wow, he just gives you hints? Well, I mean, it's, it's definitely Freddy. I can tell you that already. There, we did it. <laughs> 15! You have to do it 15 times? Jeez. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> We're all good here. Oh, that's really funny. This is so cool. I love it. So anyway, uh, when it comes to the lore... There we go. I'm just going to pause it here. Okay, so when it comes to the lore, I've got some unanswered questions, right? Who is Paul Bear? I think that's the biggest question, obviously. The ending seems to indicate that he's not what he appears to be. The whole time I've been kind of suspicious of his motives. He's pretty sketchy, you know, and he's asking us to do things without really explaining them. And wh what is our role? Just 
I also forgot, the boy coming in with a pipe, like just shoving the pipe or knife or whatever into his back, into the girl's back, it's crazy. It's also a ghost, so I don't know how that works. Anyway, long story short, uh, some unanswered questions here. Let me know your theories down in the comments, but across the board, this is great. This was super, super fun. Um, really beautiful, uh, like scary, scary, but, you know, a beautifully rendered game, really well told. Um, I, 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 you know what? And it's one of those things where I enjoyed it so much, I would be tempted to do the extra shifts, which I think is praise for it, right? The investigation element of it and just trying to figure out who's haunted is so satisfying and so fun, you know, that I would gladly hop into like a couple more rounds of that. I think 15 is a long time because if you lose, you lose a lot of progress. Like that's, that might be a bit too long for me, but it looks like there's probably some shorter ones, things like that. But across the board, just a really, really fun time, a really cool creative gameplay loop on this one. And uh, one of, if not the strongest, uh, FNAF fan game that I've played in a while. Uh, if there are any others that have come up over the last couple weeks or months that I'm not aware of, uh, let me know. I know that on the Reddit, on game, uh, on the Reddit for Five Nights at Freddy's, they have what? Is that really what it's, it's called? It's what they call themselves, the Freddit. That's Freddit. really cute. They're Fre yeah, Freddit. Um, <laughs> I've said the uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Reddit before, and they're like, it's the Freddit. So I'm... That's adorable. As much as they don't like me, I listen to them at least. Um, Aww. I know. Oh, sad. But it's one of those things where uh, I think they just did their game jam. So I think that uh, maybe there's some interesting contestants there uh, that we could check out maybe. And then we'll, we'll see. You know. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this was a blast. I encourage you to go play it for yourself. It really is uh, a fun, challenging game. Uh, so and, and, and again, let me know your theories down in the comments below. And as always, my friends, remember... It wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. See ya!